Nick here, Rear Access Customs. Uh, today we're having a look at two products. Uh, the first up is a carbon fibre filament from Extruder, an Austrian company. Uh, we reached out to these guys on Instagram to have a review of their product because it looked like it would be perfect for some of our needs. Um, recommended print temps are 200 degrees to 240, um, bed temp of 90. Um, we were also told to use a 0.5mm nozzle, which we ended up picking up a 0.6 steel nozzle. Next up we have a full metal hot end that we picked up from Mellow 3D on AliExpress. Um, of course you can't print high temp stuff for long periods of time with just a normal setup. The burning tube gets all yucky in the end and it starts uh, clogging up. So we've picked up this full metal hot end. It's a very solid feeling unit. It's got some weight behind it so you know it's quality. Um, then we've also picked up the nozzle as well. So let's get these on the machine and see what the stuff does. Uh, we just ran our standard PLA settings with the temperature bumped up 5 degrees. Um, came out fairly nice, but as you can see on the top layer, it was some gaps in the walls. Uh, so we ended up having to up the extrusion rate a little bit. Um, our final extrusion rate ended up being quite high to get those walls filled in. Um, we ended up at about 130%, which seems to be quite high. I don't know if that's to do with the 0.6 nozzle, but we had also changed it to in the Cura to match. Um, so uh, if each print we did, it got better and better. This is another part here we did. Um, and then once we were fairly happy with it, we then started to print some parts for our three-wheel drift car so we could really put them to the test. Um, so far we've run it a couple of times. We haven't had any parts break. We had a few areas around the thin walls that started to get stress marks. Um, it's interesting filament because of the way it sort of reacts in quite thin walls. It's almost like a wood filament where you've got the wood powder which seems to take the percentage of the plastic down which actually makes it quite soft in areas but in thicker areas it's quite solid so it's, it's a very interesting material to work with. Um, you almost have to design your parts to suit because of course you've got a bigger nozzle as well so your walls are going to be a lot, not thinner but less, less layers around the walls so I think next time I'm going to sort of design some parts that are small setup for a 0.6 nozzle rather than a 0.4. Um, really all we can do from here is just test it and see what the longevity of this material is like. Um, it's also meant to be UV resistant and also we've seen up to 160 degrees. We haven't put that to the test. Um, all we're going to do is just try uh, different things on it in the future and we'll do an update video, show you how the part's going on the car, whether we've broken anything, reprinted or what have you. If you guys want to pick up either the hot end or the filament, the links will be in the description below. Um, we really had no issues. We had a couple of clogs with it, but that was more just pushing the limits of the extrusion and the layer heights more so than a filament or hot end issue. Um, we're looking forward to print with this stuff a little bit more to get more of an understanding. It's definitely not something you can pick up and get it printing absolutely precise and also be strong at the same point. Um, We'd like to thank Extruder and also Mellow3D for sending out these parts. Um, 
yes, there were free parts given to us, but we're going to review them honestly. Um, and, you know, both parts have been quality. Um, the filament's probably a little bit pricey for what it is. You know, it's not your standard filament either. Um, so it's each to their own if you guys want to pick it up and try it. I'd suggest giving it a go um, and see what you think about it. Um, until the next video, have a good one.